All right, this video is gonna be somewhat of a rant. <clears throat> hey, Glendon, how come you don't have your rich friends in your videos? All right, I know this may sound kind of strange, but everybody doesn't want to be on social media. Um, I got a few interviews that are probably coming up with some of my friends at some point. But I got a friend that's worth a hundred million dollars. He has no interest in being on YouTube. He has no interest in you knowing who he is. Or no interest. If you saw this guy in the grocery store, you would have no clue he was worth a hundred million dollars. And for you weak, moist men, you got all these rich friends. How come you don't have me in your YouTube videos? How come you don't have hot women? Oh, that's right. You're not dating anyone. That's why you don't have any attractive women in your videos and it, it was just really interesting because like um, everybody is not interested in being on social media I know that sounds strange to those folks who crave to be on social media who have the thirst it does sound strange but it's true so, in the future, you will see some of my friends who have businesses, and it's going to be uh, a different kind of conversation. Let's see. Why is that bouncing like that? All right. That's better. It's going to be a different conversation. Now, <clears throat> let's go ahead and talk about the car business. Now, there are some of you who feel that you're smarter than me than in business. I got this comment the other day, and I blissed this guy out. I want you to email me about the tracker. See what happened. You bumped your head, and, you know, you should email me, and we should strategize together. All right. Let me go ahead and say this. I am not going to hop on the phone and talk to you about business when I am. Because he, he said he was ahead of me. Uh, Mr. Are you ahead of me? Do you own 29 cars? I don't think so. I've been all over Toro, and the number of people who have 20 or more cars ain't that many. Ain't that many. So you may have been doing Toro or renting cars longer than me, but make no mistake about it. You're not ahead of me. You don't have my level of business expertise. And it was funny. Let's, you know, email me, get on the phone so we can start strategizing. I am not going to consult for you for free food. I'm sitting there like, he wants to think I was born yesterday. I'm like, hop on the phone, talk. <coughs> I'm not talking to you. It was hilarious. I was like, oh, you bumped your head. And this was in reference to me going independent. Imagine having a business that's not dependent upon Toro or hire car. It's like you're going to bump your head by going independent. You scary little bitch. You're so afraid to do your own marketing. Well, actually, you probably don't know how to do marketing. So that's why you're afraid. But I, here, here's the thing, guys. I've been an entrepreneur for 23 years. And what does that mean? I've been successful for 23 years. Not a lot of people can say that. Not a lot of people have that pedigree. Not a lot of people can talk about that. Not many people can actually say that. And I actually come with the receipts to prove it. So, Mr. Well, I'm ahead of you. Show me your 30 fleet car. Your 30 car fleet, player. I guarantee you, you don't have one. At best, you have five or six cars, and you think you're doing it big. And also, someone who used to comment quite a bit before I started to, like, once again, I made no mistakes about knowing anything about the car business. Uh, honestly, I did not know what I was getting myself into until I got into it. I had no clue. And I was talking to my hard car rep, and he said a lot of owners have no idea what they're getting into. They really don't. And I didn't. 
but literally I've been able to turn this around in four months while you're not even scaling to one third of my fleet in two, three, four years, but you're, you're ahead of me. You, you, you're ahead of me. Yeah, that, that's just funny. That is hilarious because one of the things and shout out to the moist men. I know y'all can't hate y'all hate to see me winning. I know it was hilarious. It was fun when I was taking those L's. And I showed you those L's because they happen. I am not ashamed to make a mistake. And I consider that one of my superpowers. I'm not ashamed to do something wrong. I know from years and years of experience that mistakes can lead you to make a lot of money. So I'm not afraid of that. And you know, chuck, 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 yeah, you ridden these girls without trackers. And I clearly stated from the beginning, I didn't want trackers. I wanted the ability to cut the car off. I've said that and I said it again. And you keep talking about trackers, trackers, trackers. I'm like, and I've got the nicest fleet on hire car. I've been doing this four months, three months, going on four months. Next week will be four months. I have the nicest fleet on the hire car. I've had multiple people Multiple repeat renters, multiple, about 20 of them have been repeat renters. Right now, the cars are in the hands of 16, 17 repeat renters and a few new ones. I have the nicest fleet on hire car. And once again, these so-called smart people who have never been in business, who've never done anything in life, like, well, this is how you do it really not real that's not how you do it because i like i once again when i started i had some assumptions of how things were going to work and <laughs> those assumptions were wrong right now i already know and i have a feeling they're going to be available i already know what cars i'm buying at the end of the month my gps guy is back Incidentally, since I'm a high-volume customer, they called me to let me know he was back. I was like, well, thanks. I appreciate that. I'm glad he's doing well. And I will probably have two or three cars there next week. So one of the things that, you know, because uh, I'm going to have one car is clearly wrecked. I got to call the insurance company today. I got another car that I got to call the insurance company about. I got another car I got to get a tag for. Uh, today has been the day of getting things done and I'm probably end of the month I've got 29 cars now and I'm probably going to have 31 to 32 cars in the month why am I doing that commercial insurance um, someone left a comment um, I'm like I was talking to one guy about commercial insurance I could have signed up but I didn't because I didn't have enough cars in my opinion. So that's what I'm going to be working on in September, getting my commercial insurance because right now all the cars are in my name because I know if they were in the business name, I would have to come with commercial insurance. And what I'm going to do is get these 31, 32 cars and then I'm going to probably not buy a car for a month or two to consolidate all these repair costs and stuff because they're starting to trickle down. The repair costs are starting to wane. So September, October, I feel in October I probably won't even have any repair costs because I bought all of these used cars and people were not doing the maintenance. They just weren't. I mean, I got to get tires. I got to get oil changes. I got to do normal routine services, you know, like the light pops on on the Mercedes. Uh, I just got this Mercedes and it's like schedule A maintenance doing is due in 16 days, which was just an oil change. Thank God. So um, I got that changed. And once again, guys, <clears throat> you think you're doing better than me in the car business? All right. Send me your paperwork to Glendon at savagefinance.org. Send me your numbers. Don't. It's one thing to say I'm doing better. It's another thing to prove it <clears throat> because 
I'm probably going to do 22,000 this month. And next month, I'm probably going to do 30,000. And one of the reasons that I'm going to do 22,000 is uh, I've had, I got cars, like the Porsche is rented now on hire car. <clears throat> and because I had a recall, I could not rent it on Turo. I couldn't list it on Turo. So, and then I had the issue with the GPS where I had cars sitting for 10 days. I could not rent out. So, September, October is going to be more money because I will have my full contingency. I had like 1.9 cars in the shop. So, you know, I feel pretty good to do, because like I said, it's, it's going to be a 20-something, maybe 22, maybe 24,000 this month. And then next month, it'll be 30. And next month will be <clears throat> my fifth month. Not too many Toro or hardcore hosts Host have got $30,000 in five months. Not that many. Now, there have been some corporate whales who've done that because they've come on the platform with 100 cars or 200 cars. Yeah, they've done that. But <clears throat> I'm between the regular folks and I'm between the whales. And, like, please stop asking to talk to me. Since you you so ahead of me in the car business, why you want to talk to me so desperately? Why are you trying to get my attention? Why are you like, blend it, blend it, blend it. Talk to me. Pay attention. A friend of mine has a golden doodle. And this dog is, he, he likes everyone. And he will put his paw on you and he will, he will follow you around. <clears throat> and that, that's kind of like how some of y'all are. You want my attention so damn bad. But you're smarter than me. And I'm like, look. I don't want anybody's attention. If someone, if someone, if I feel I'm smarter than someone, that's gonna be the last person I'm gonna talk to. I don't wanna talk to you. But for some reason, you feel that you're smarter than me and you're ahead of me, but you wanna talk to me. Why is that? Because you're not really ahead of me. See, you're saying one thing, but your actions are saying another. Because if you were smarter than me and you were ahead of me, you wouldn't even be watching my content. You wouldn't even be paying attention to me. You wouldn't even mean you wouldn't even care what I was doing. <clears throat> I wouldn't even be on your radar. The fact is, I'm doing some stuff that you wish you could do. That's the issue. You wish you could do it. You wish you could go out and buy. Because technically, I have bought Porsche. Land Rover. I have technically bought 31 cars in three months. Once again, you can't do that, player, <clears throat> with your good credit score. You can't get up to 30 cars with your good credit score. You can't do it. <laughs> you can't do it. I wonder why, since you're so smart. Oh, that's right. You don't make enough money. You don't make enough money. But you're so smart. Like Eddie Murphy skit, you can't afford it. Because your mama on the welfare, you can't afford it. And I'm going to start rubbing my balls all up across your head. Just going to be a ball rubbing fest. <clears throat> because a lot of you guys are really sad. Now, shout out to all the supporters for the folks. Uh, a lot of you guys are like, man, I really appreciate the content. I really appreciate you being transparent. I really appreciate you being honest. Shout out to all those guys who understand that I am doing them a good service by being real with them and letting them know what can happen because I'm glad this happened. I know that's going to sound crazy with the crazy repair costs and stuff. I'm glad this happened in the beginning because Let's say I started this and I hit it out the park in the beginning and this happened six months down the road. I would be I would be losing my mind. I feel prepared for anything that can happen on the rental car platform. And that issue, you're going to bump your head by going independent. The fear of being an independent agency. Let me tell you what I'm going to do. Uh, end of the month, I'm going to buy two to three more cars. Then I'm going to stop. And then I'm going to have my final numbers for that video where I'm going to tell you how much money I've invested in cars. 
and I'm going to tell you my losses and what all the numbers are. And then that begins my calendar year. I feel the last four months have been, I've been running experiments, stuff that I teach, you know? <clears throat> I've been running experiments, um, and then I'm going to have my year. And my goal from this year to next September 1st is to get 100 cars. So at 31 to 32, I will need 68 cars in 12 months, which I think is doable, which I think is doable. And at that point, I'll be making six figures a month for my car rental business in 16 months. Faster than any of your, your favorite YouTube car celebrities and your favorite Instagram people. I'll get there quicker and better because I start off with capital, not credit. See, your credit is going to be capped by your income, especially in the beginning. That's going to be a big, big factor in how much credit you can get. So, yeah. Oh, look at you. Zooming, zooming. But I find it funny. How many of you feel that you're smarter than me, but you don't have more money than me? Men lie, women lie, numbers don't lie. I bet you won't pull up your pay stub. I bet you won't pull up your ATM receipts. Do it. Prove me wrong. Go ahead. Post it up somewhere and let me know. Go ahead and do it. I dare you. I dare you to pull up your pay stub. And speaking of that, so many business owners don't have their companies properly set up. It ain't funny. When this PPP money, EDL money came out, a lot of people couldn't apply for it because their paperwork, they didn't have a company properly set up. It was sad. They missed out. They seriously missed out. See, I got a company and I'm paying my taxes. See, that's another thing. I've had many people like, man, your taxes are crazy. I thought the whole goal was not to pay taxes. You can reduce taxes, but you cannot eliminate them. And I'm going to get a lot of that tax money back when I file taxes this year because of this new business I started and all of these tax deductions I'm creating. It's going to be glorious. It's going to be glorious. I've never been so eager to file my taxes in my life. It's been glorious. And um, I'm going to get tax deductions and then I'm not going to have to... I will be able, once I get my final numbers, I don't know what my final numbers are, but... Um, my final numbers until I get all that money back I'm not paying any taxes on that money but at the same time I'm getting tax deductions it's a beautiful thing when you know the game when you know how to play the game when you understand the game when you know the game when you are playing the game when you are a tactician of the game it's a beautiful thing but a lot of you guys are afraid to play the game because like this one, you're going to bump your head by going independent. You're going to bump your head. You need to talk to me because I can tell you how to get a tracker. Woo -hoo -hoo! I can tell you how to get a tracker. I'm like, once again, let me say, I ain't want trackers. I ain't want those little things to plug up there that be sticking out and they can see exactly what it is. I wanted the GPS kill switches. And that's what I got. And I didn't settle. I didn't go ahead and they're hardwired in and they're hidden so they can't rip them out. That's what I wanted. And that's what I got. And once again, in the beginning, like I found someone to, it took, I had to wait 10 days. So I had $50,000 sitting in my parking lot waiting to get GPS kill switches. But it was a Mercedes, it was two BMWs, and I just knew that renting out those without GPS kill switches were a recipe for disaster because you know, uh, I, I still don't have a GPS kill switch in my Camry. I'm not going to put one on there. Because when they're done with it, they just bring those back. They bring the Camrys back. They bring the Acras back. But the BMWs? Oh, we want to keep these. We don't want to let these go. 
and all but uh, actually I got one BMW I need to call them and see it'll probably be ready tomorrow and tomorrow I'll go ahead and get a GPS kill switch put on that one and then I, I gotta order some more GPS kill switches because I only have two left and tomorrow I'll use one at least one left so I'm gonna have to order some more quick fast in a hurry because like I said I plan on buying two to three cars at the end of the month so I'm gonna need those but yeah I bought 20 and I'm glad I bought 20 so I'm probably gonna buy another 20 just to have them on hand as I buy cars so I don't have to worry about you know get them because the way it's set up that you have to buy them from the company and they sell them up in your account and then um when you activate them they go into your queue so it's really sweet but yeah man my friends they don't want to be on youtube you know it's funny so many of y'all only think for your think like everyone's like you i know it's hard for you to imagine someone having millions of dollars and not wanting to be on social media because especially you millennials who are the show-off generation you can't even imagine it. I got a friend he's hilarious um, he, he's like I talked to him he said I don't want to do that I don't want to do it but for him he makes a lot of moves and it helps for him that people don't know how wealthy he is it helps him make what moves so I can understand why he doesn't want to do it he, he does not want any parts of YouTube. He, you know, we talked about it, and he's like, nah, I don't want to do that. So, he doesn't need YouTube to make money. Whereas I do. I'll keep it a buck. Uh, YouTube is my most profitable revenue stream right now. And that's one of the reasons I'm starting the car business. Because in five years, that will be my top revenue stream maybe i don't know i don't know what's gonna happen i don't know what's gonna happen so we will see also i am um opening up another male's channel yep not gonna be called the disruptive male it's gonna be called the lost kings and it's gonna be very very different so look out for that i will have an opening special I'm going to email all the peeps in Hustlers Kung Fu and everything, let them know the channel is coming back. And it's going to be really, really different. Very, very different. Very, very earthy. Very, very, um, you know, because what got me on that is the stuff with Fresh and Fit. I think those guys are con men. I really don't think that they, <laughs> they really. I don't think they really know how to get women without cheap, manipulative tactics. And if you have a chance, you should check out the video that Anna Quinn did about dude. Um, I have never said I was a high-value male to any chick. They already knew that by the way that I live my life. And it, it was just funny. It is funny, 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 funny. Shout out to Kevin Samuels and the high value male conversation. You know what's funny about that whole thing? There are really not that many high value men. <laughs> We're talking 6% of the population. <laughs> you making 100K? All right, I, I know I'm about to hurt your feelings. You're not a high value man at 100K. You're not a high value man at even 200K. You're a high value man at about 500,000. That's when you start entering a high value man conversation. So if you're making 100K talking about, I'm a high value male, you're fooling yourself, bro. You're not high value. You're just not. <laughs> it, it, it's funny, everyone's talking about such a small segment of the population. Like a woman who's a 10. There are really not that many 10s. Halle Berry is a 10. How many Halle Berries do you see walking down the street? Not that many. Not that many. So it's funny that so many people are focused on such a small segment of the society. But what we're going to do at the Lost Kings is male education. 
male training and mindset training and business training. And one of the things I'm going to do for everyone who piles into the corporate toolbox, I am going to gift you the disruptive male training portal. I didn't get rid of it. I just stopped promoting it because I stopped selling it. But it's still all there. <clears throat> so that's going down. So the mail channel is coming back. I'm going to send out an email. I know a lot of people are like, yes, 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 yes. But it's going to be different. I, I made some mistakes the first time. This is going to be different. So for all you folks who feel that you're doing better than me, Glendon at savagefinance.org. Send proof. Don't be like, I'm doing better than you, me and my little five little cars. I got a Corolla. I got a Sentra. Yeah. Stop. Stop it. Stop. Stop. And you got a finance five car fleet, but you fleet, but you're doing better than me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, so that's all I got for you guys. I will see you in the next one.